Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain a Chinese movie released in 2020 titled The Cyan Dragon. This movie tells the story of an ordinary warrior who inherits the power of a dragon, making him the greatest master of martial arts. Can a weak person actually become a formidable fighter who can save mankind? Let's find out in The Cyan Dragon. The Cyan Dragon begins by showing the great battle of the two kingdoms, namely the Yin Kingdom and the Yao Kingdom. The Yin Kingdom is a kingdom whose ambition is to conquer and rule the world, while the Yao Kingdom is a peace-loving kingdom and wants to bring about peace throughout the world. The Yao Kingdom has a very great general named Jian Ling who has the power of a blue dragon residing within him. The blue dragon or the Cyan Dragon has chosen the Ling family for generations as its host. Due to having the power of the Cyan Dragon within him, Jian Ling became extremely formidable and hard to beat. When the Yao Kingdom's army was just a little away from winning the battle came the Yin Kingdom's elite troops who were known to have very great abilities. In an instant, they were able to overthrow the Yao army, as one of them summoned an earth dragon that could blow the Yao army down with a single strike. Seeing this, Jian Ling immediately unleashed the power of the Cyan Dragon and brought down the earth dragons with ease. However, the threat did not only come from the earth dragons. The elite forces of the Yin Kingdom also possessed great strength, which made it difficult for Jian Ling to have to help his troops against them. The elite forces of the Yin Kingdom then attacked Jian Ling in a row until he finally caught his guard and couldn't dodge the attack of an earth dragon which immediately made him lay helpless. When Jian Ling was seriously injured, one of the Yao Kingdom soldiers, Liu, approached him and tried to help him. Knowing that he would not last much longer, Jian Ling then transferred the weakened power of the Cyan Dragon to Liu and ordered him to go to the capital and meet his younger sister, Xu Ling. Feeling confused and indecisive, without thinking, Liu rushed to the capital on horseback avoiding the war that was taking place on the border between the Yin and Yao kingdoms. Meanwhile in the capital, Xu Enling was seen training with some of her men. Xu Enling has a very formidable fighting ability, just like her brother. As part of the family chosen as the host of the Cyan Dragon, Xu Enling is required to have great fighting skills to use the Cyan Dragon's power to the fullest to protect the Yao kingdom and humanity. Arriving at the capital, Liu finally meets Xu Enling and reveals that he has been ordered by General Jian Ling to meet her while showing her something. It turned out that the Cyan Dragon was in the form of a small blue dragon. Even so, Xu Enling immediately paid his respects by kneeling to the Cyan Dragon, before finally the dragon returned to Liu's body. Seeing the marks on Liu's body, Xu Enling took him to her home, where she released the Cyan Dragon's power on Liu's body. Xu Enling then took Liu to the dungeon, where she explained to him the history of the war between the Yin Kingdom and the Yao Kingdom, which was triggered by the greed of the Yin Kingdom's leader to conquer the world. Therefore, the Ling family who came from the Yao Kingdom, was chosen as the host of the Cyan Dragon to protect the Yao Kingdom and the whole world from the Yin Kingdom's attack. Xu and Ling then explained that the Cyan Dragon's strength was weakened after going through a big battle with her brother so that the dragon ran out of energy and turned into a small dragon. Xu and Ling then stuck a magic stone into Liu's chest so that the Cyan Dragon could completely escape from his body. However, the Cyan Dragon was unexpectedly reluctant to leave Liu's body. Knowing this, Xu and Ling was very surprised because the Cyan Dragon only trusted the Ling family as its host from a long time ago. But now the dragon instead chose another person, whose origin is unknown, to be his host. Even so, Xu and Ling finally allowed the Cyan Dragon to reside within Liu's body and asked him to stay in her house for a while. While in the room, Liu tried to get the Cyan Dragon out of his body. The little dragon appeared and they tried to communicate with each other, although Liu did not fully understand. The next day, Xu and Ling attended an important meeting at the palace, where the emperor and court officials discussed the war at the border and the death of General Ling on the battlefield, as well as the disappearance of the Cyan Dragon after Jian Ling died. Officials are debating what steps they should take next. One of the palace officials proposed making peace to avoid a prolonged conflict, but the other officials quickly rejected the proposal. Xu and Ling then informed the emperor and the court officials that her brother might have died. But the Cyan Dragon had not disappeared and had now chosen a new host, a soldier who had helped him fight on the frontier. The palace officials who heard this immediately laughed at Xu and Ling's words just now because they thought that the great power possessed by the Cyan Dragon should be controlled by the Ling noble family who has great fighting ability, not by a subordinate soldier who came from among the commoners. They thought that the warrior would mess things up and threaten everyone's safety if they couldn't control the Cyan Dragon's power. However, Xu and Ling convinced the Emperor to keep fighting against the Yin Kingdom because they still had the Cyan Dragon. The Emperor agreed and immediately ordered Xu and Ling to go to the border. After that, Xu and Ling returned to her residence and told Liu to get ready because they were going to the border. Xu and Ling said that she would teach Liu to improve his martial arts skills to use and control the power of the Cyan Dragon that resided within him. 
Accompanied by two well-trained selected soldiers, Chu and Ling and Liu finally set out for the border to help Yao's army fight against the Yin Kingdom's forces. On the way, Xu and Ling began to train Liu to control the Cyan Dragon's power for a whole day, even late into the night. One day, Xu and Ling and her entourage decided to rest in an old abandoned house. Liu continued his training with Xu and Ling until late into the night. Very tired, Xu and Ling fell asleep while leaning on Liu's shoulder, which made Liu admire her face which looks even more beautiful when they are close. Not long after, Xu and Ling woke up and suddenly felt awkward being close to Liu. Suddenly they were attacked by the elite forces of the Yin Kingdom. One of them tried to snatch the power of the Cyan Dragon from Liu's body, causing Liu to lie down helplessly, but his attempt was thwarted by Xu and Ling's warrior, even though the man had to die to save Liu. A fierce battle was inevitable between Xu and Ling and the elite forces of the Yin Kingdom. Xu and Ling managed to win the battle, even though all of her soldiers were killed and she was seriously injured. Not long after, Liu finally woke up and was very shocked to see several corpses strewn around him. Liu was devastated when Xu and Ling told him that her soldiers had died to save him. Liu and Xu and Ling then get into an argument. Liu advises Xu and Ling to return to the capital because he doesn't believe he can master the power of the Cyan Dragon and face the forces of the Yin Kingdom. But Xu and Ling resolutely rejected Liu's idea saying that Liu should not give up because everyone put their hopes on him and the Cyan Dragon. Moreover Xu and Ling would not let the deaths of her brother and her warriors be in vain because they had sacrificed for Liu and the Cyan Dragon. After saying that, Xu and Ling suddenly fainted from exhaustion. Liu then treated Xu and Ling's injuries. The next day, Xu and Ling's condition improved until she finally recovered completely. Xu and Ling then told Liu that she would no longer force him to master the power of the Cyan Dragon, and allowed him to determine his own path in life. After all, Xu and Ling also still had to undergo quite rigorous training because she was the only heir of the Ling family who was responsible for protecting the power of the Cyan Dragon. Liu was happy because finally Xu and Ling no longer forced him, although he felt sad when he remembered the journey they had gone through and the struggles of those who had sacrificed their lives to protect him. The next day, Liu realized that Xu and Ling had abandoned him and went to the border alone to fight against the Yin forces. Xu and Ling was directly confronted by an elite warrior from the extremely formidable Yin realm, where the warrior possessed the terrifying power to control earth dragons. Xu and Ling and the masked warrior engaged in a fierce battle. Despite having great fighting ability, Xu and Ling was eventually cornered and was able to be brought down by the masked warrior. As the situation grew increasingly precarious, Liu finally appeared and helped Xu and Ling fight the elite warrior. However, Liu and Xu and Ling were easily knocked down by the masked warrior until he finally managed to stab Xu and Ling and feed her to an earth dragon which instantly devoured her body. Seeing Xu and Ling being slain right in front of him, the power of the cyan dragon within Liu's body finally rose and he immediately went berserk until his body shot up into the sky and formed a dragon constellation in the sky. With the full power of the cyan dragon within him, Liu returned to the battlefield and directly attacked the masked warrior. Liu was able to subdue the elite warrior with a mighty power that even surpassed Jian Ling while the Cyan Dragon was still within the man. The elite warrior then summoned the Earth Dragons and absorbed their power to fight Liu who had the power of the Cyan Dragon. A fierce battle was inevitable, however, the warrior's efforts were in vain because Liu's strength was immense and could slay the Earth Dragons and eventually kill the warrior. After this tense battle, Liu was finally able to repulse the Yin Kingdom's forces and ensure that peace would prevail in the world. After that, Liu took Xu and Ling's body to the capital for a proper burial because she had died on the battlefield. This film teaches us not to underestimate anyone, even if that person looks weak and doesn't come from a prominent family. Liu proves that he can become a great warrior and master the Cyan Dragon which was previously believed to be controlled only by the Ling family who was respected and also possessed great abilities. The Cyan Dragon turned out to choose Liu and made the young man a formidable warrior who would protect the Yao Kingdom and mankind throughout the world.